This is Professor Thad Starner. Today we're going to talk about a full wave rectifier. Now a full wave rectifier is what you use when you're trying to convert AC voltage to DC voltage. Now if you remember uh, from before, AC voltage looks like this. Um, the sine wave goes up and down. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a 12 volt AC source. We'll use that later on. Uh, but what we want to do is convert that to uh, a DC power supply. So how do we do that? Remember in the last lecture we talked about a diode. And a diode allows current to flow only in one direction. And it has normal mode. And in this case, we're going positive charge is flowing to the right here. So we can use a diode to make a full wave rectifier. So let me show you how it's done. Um, let me just sketch this out here quickly. We're going to have a voltage in over here. Maybe one of our places we're going to have a voltage out. Another place of voltage in. Okay, let me finish this up so it looks well, looks good. Let's see here, so this is going to be uh, um, one of the voltage in, in points. Let's see, here. this is going to be the voltage out. So this is going to be V out, rectified, and let's see we got to get this over, so I'm going to not connect it there. This is Vn, and that's going to be AC. Okay, so AC has no polarity. Let me actually go through this and show you how it's going to work. Suppose that on the positive side, when AC is first starting out and it's going positive. So that means this terminal is going to be positive here. And the current is going to flow this way to here and out this way. So, that's, so this side is going to be positive on the voltage out. The negative is going to flow this way. It's going to throw, flow the other way through uh, um, the diode and it's going to come out this side. So it's going to be negative uh, uh, voltage, the negative side of the V out. Okay, so now let's do it the other way. Suppose that this terminal was negative. Well, in that case, uh, this would be positive. Let's go here. It's going to flow this way. It goes up to the same terminal. So this is positive both when it's going, it's on the positive side of the sweep and also it's going to be positive and negative side of the sweep. So positive and negative voltages. So what that looks like after rectification, we get something that looks like this with all the humps being on the positive side. That's pretty cool. Now it's not good DC voltage. It's got a lot of ripple to it. But it gives us uh, something that never flows negative. Well, that's excellent. But suppose I don't want this ripple. I'm putting it into a microcontroller or some other device that really just wants say 12 volts positive uh, uh, DC voltage. What I can do is I can put a capacitor in parallel to the load here. So in other words, this capacitor now generally depends really on the, how big the load is. Uh, for the circuit we're going to use in the future, it's going to be like about 470 microfarads. And that will really level it out. What will happen after you add the capacitor is it will start looking like this with just little bits of ripple in it. At least that's our goal. Um, so there you have it. There's a uh, DC power supply. Now, remember your load, whatever it is you're, you're actually um, uh, supplying voltage to, is put across here. So I'm going to write that as RL, based on the resistance of the load right here. Okay? And that's it. You now you have yourself a DC power supply.